Hi guys, uh, today's video is in regards to uh, the new Zero W20 oil that are in a lot of uh, newer cars, uh, modern cars. Um, I ended up buying a 2016 Honda CRV. Uh, looked at the owner's manual, calls for Zero W20. Uh, I've talked to many people, talked to many mechanics in the industry. A lot of them are advising me. You're a car guy, you like to take care of your cars. Uh, if you push the car, you like to step on the gas hard. Zero twenty, bad choice. Very, very bad choice for for uh, these cars. The manufacturer is not going to put in their manual that you could use other oil. They want you to use zero twenty because this is now all regulated by the government uh, fuel fuel economy requirements. Okay, so as you can see here, there's an article about the government fuel economy requirements. Okay, standards. Now they're going to be going to lower viscosity, 0W16, as you could see, 0W12, okay? So you know that this is going to be a problem for a lot of engines. Uh, basically, there's people that are having oil consumption in newly purchased vehicles uh, that are using 0W20. Uh, the oil is very thin, okay? I actually changed it out of my vehicle because the oil was way, way, way too thin. And I could tell, even though that's a recommendation from the manufacturer. Uh, there's also here lawsuits due to cars excessively burning oil. Okay. Uh, these are consumers that have their own. Basically, these are cars that are Audi, BMW, Honda, Subaru, Toyota. There's a lot of complaints where cars are burning oil because they're recommending this very, very thin 0W20. Okay. 0W20 oil is very good in cold climates. So if you're in the winter time, uh, negative 20, negative 30, I would use 0W20 in my Honda, the CRV, because that's what's required, full synthetic. I would use that if it's excessively cold. But in the summertime, I would use something totally different, which I actually just made, did an oil change uh, yesterday. And I actually added this oil here made by Mobile One, 0W30, okay? So this 0W30 is actually a good substitute for the 020 because the flow rate when you start up your engine cold is exactly the same as the 020, okay? And when the engine heats up, it's gonna protect a little bit better because it's slightly thicker and because it's a 30 weight oil. So 30 weight oil, like 0 30 and 530 will act up the same in warm temperatures because the 30 is what the number that you're going to have to look at is for the temperature rating okay so what i'm going to explain to you guys is if you guys are having an engine that's consuming oil okay burning oil and you want to kind of slow that down get 0 w30 use this in your engine in the summertime okay and your engine will be a lot quieter because I've noticed ever since I switched from the 0W20 to the 0W30, the valve train on my CRV, you can't even hear, it's very, very, very quiet where you don't hear it like before with the 0W20. So you could tell that the engine is considerably much more quieter, okay? And another thing I added to the engine, which is a very good product, not everybody has to do it, but I like to do it. It's just cheap insurance. Uh, it's a product uh, made by LubeGuard. It's this one here. It's a LubeGuard Biotech Engine Protectant. Uh, this is very um, a very good product. Uh, it's been around. Uh, LubeGuard is a very reputable company. And I use this on all my oil changes. And basically, this stuff here, guys, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, protects the engine even more combined with your full synthetic oil and uh, basically you'll have even less oil consumption it even tells you here reduces oil consumption and fuel consumption so this is another good product to look into uh, basically you would put in the whole bottle for uh, between four to five liter uh, system capacity of the motor so you could dump in the whole bottle mix it in 
And this stuff here is really, really good. You can use this either gasoline or diesel. So there's no issues with this. So use this product with 0W30 in your Honda, Toyota, whatever car you have that calls for 020. Use this stuff here, guys. You'll notice your engine is going to be a lot more quieter and it's going to be a lot better protected than using the 020 because apparently there's a lot of issues here where oil consumption is happening. Uh, valve train noises, uh, very, very common with the 020 oil. Uh, like I said, I would use the 020 oil in the winter time. So I'm not going to totally eliminate it out of the equation, but I would use it in the winter time with a bottle of lube guard and uh, you won't have any issues. But there is issues where, you know, the oil film is very thin. Uh, it's too thin. Uh, if you drive your car hard, then this is the oil you want to get rid of. So it even tells you here, this may not be the best possible choice for high temperature, high speed driving conditions. Okay. So they even tell you that. Okay. And I know because when I hear it with 0W20 and the engine, you can hear the valve train noises a lot more and using the 030, that's when you know that you don't want to push the car. So just letting you guys know. But anyways, guys, uh, like I said, the owner's manual is not going to tell you everything. Uh, spoke to many mechanics. I know a lot of mechanics. Uh, basically, they all told me 0W30 is perfectly fine. You could, you could still use even 530. I wouldn't go 10, but you could use 530, you can use 030, uh, you could also use 520 to, subst to substitute the 020 oil that they're using in the engine. So this 020, just use it in the winter. That's it. Once summer comes along and you're like 30 degrees Celsius, 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, switch it out for a 030 and you'll be a lot happier. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and have a good day.